financial records. Um, so, you know, I, I like to, to, to think of it as if, you know, if, if I had a medical emergency and my child had to come to my house and figure out what it is they have to do from day one, did I make it easy for them or didn't I make it easy for them? And one thing that we really should do is to make sure that your financial records are organized. We need to know, uh, someone's gonna need to know where your sources of income are. Now, if they um, look at um, a, a, um, a bank statement, they can probably see any direct deposits that you have. So do you have a bank, a bank record around? Um, do they know how to get a hold of your pension system? Um, social security is easy. Everybody knows how to get a hold of social security. We find the number, we call. Um, and um, so uh, sources of income are really important. You know, how, how do we call your pension system? Do we, especially because your pension system is sometimes the central area where um, you have um, your uh, medical coverage in or something else along those lines. Uh, we want to make sure that we have um, the names of banks and other financial institutions. You know, make sure that you know if you have that um, that that little savings account at TD Bank and you do most of your banking at Beth Page Federal Credit Union. Does anybody know that you have that that small savings account there? Um, a, a lot of times, I like to say you want to have um, a record for every account you have, whether it's the last one or whether it's a whole bunch of them, okay? So you may not wanna keep all of your monthly statements, especially if you have access online, um, but you may wanna make sure that you have those state, uh, you know, a statement available for, um, for each account that you have. It will make it supremely easier for your uh, loved ones um, to, um, to understand where your um, assets are 